You all don't want to believe it, do you? I'll tell you about these deviants. Naked on the toilet, Sean Bradley. Naked, sitting in the bathroom, screaming and hollering at me. A sexual deviant. Now, what respectable human will be on social media, sitting in the bathroom, naked, gay, and yelling at a heterosexual woman? But a deviant. Now, why are you upset? You upset about what? And I'm going to say your name again and what the fuck you going to do about it? Now, bitch, you got all that mouth about folks not opening doors and folks not pulling up. Bitch, where your pull-up game at? All this mouth you got, bitch, where your pull-up game? All this mouth Bradley got, Tatum. Sit on down, pussy. Why you over there screaming about how you have to take care of Timothy? Because Timothy won't grow up. Now, whore, prove to me and the world that I got grandchildren in the system. Since you seem to know so much. Because, bitch, I ain't never shared anything with you. Now, prove it to the world that there are grandchildren of mine in the system. I'm tired of hearing that same old lie. Prove it, bitch. I want you to find legal documentation, bitch. Come on, telemarketer. Got your nasty, stinking ass sitting in the damn toilet. Sitting on a toilet, on a commode, yelling and hollering about me. Mm, spirit rocked, huh? Sexual deviant. Explain to us why you were holding that boy penis up. Why is your hands wrapped around that boy's dick? I would call it predatory. Now, wouldn't you? You are the one that's on here being called Gacy. Explain that. You haven't told us that yet. Give us that story. Tatum, holding up Timothy's scrotum. Give us that. I mean, you are literally sitting in that toilet, sitting on the toilet naked, screaming and hollering at me. And folks are in the room watching. And I'm saying to myself, they're deviants too. Sitting in the room watching this punk sit on a toilet naked, yelling at me, saying I can't say his name. Bradley, Sean Tatum, and what the fuck you gonna do about it? Bradley, Sean Tatum, and what the fuck are you gonna do about it? Bradley, Sean, Tatum, and what the fuck are you going to do about it? Now, you're talking about pull-up game. Where's your pull-up game? I know you was directing that towards that other little deviant in Pennsylvania. But where's yours? Where's yours? Where is yours? Oh, you was over there taking money from Skillet too, huh? Mm. But you gave it back without her asking. You only gave the money back because she was arguing with others. Isn't that right? Isn't that right, Tatum? He only gave the money back because she was fighting with others about her money. Isn't that right, honey? Aren't you behind the scenes with Skillet too? Sean Bradley? Tatum? Aren't you behind the scenes 
Tiddly winking and footsies with skillet too. I will say the answer to that will be yes. The answer to that would be yes. Because skillet is behind the scenes with all of us. Each and every one. Each and every one of us. Right, Tatum. Mm. She's affiliated with each and every one of us. She's a friend to us all, isn't she? You know why? Because she's valuable. Oh, bitch, she's valuable. And Skillet knows she's valuable. He over there on, that, on the commode, naked, screaming at me, screaming at James every now and again. But you got all this mouth. What the fuck your pull-up game at? You talked about kicking folks in their faces and heads. Uh, I haven't seen you do it yet. Didn't you threaten people on here? Haven't you threatened to kick folks' asses? Kick folks in their face? Kick folks in their head? Where your pull-up game at, bitch? Why haven't you pulled up on Susie? You got all this mouth. Because she is your arch nemesis, right? Where your pull-up game for Susie? You punk bitch. Mm. Screaming and yelling at me. You don't want to have that, bat, that little boy on the damn dust, dirty floor. Dirty house motherfucker, you. Your child is the one fucking all your damn comrades in your room. Out here selling Timothy's dick. Right? How many in your room has fucked Timothy? Tatum, how many? How many since the COVID and how many after COVID? Give us that. Aren't you selling Timothy? Because you're a deviant. You're selling him, right? Or are you laying up with him according to James Colwell? He's saying that you're sleeping with Timothy too. Mm. Who should I believe? Who should I believe? He was your bestie, right? Hmm. Once upon a time, he was your bestie. Once you over there calling him, calling James Caldwell, telling him all the things you were doing with Timothy. Explain that to us. I don't need you to explain it to me because I already know you're a sexual deviant. With your nasty ass. Dookie shoots. Laying up in a damn bathtub of douche. Oh, sexual deviant that you are. Child, please. Oh, that screaming and shouting, sitting on, sitting on the commode. Yelling about little old me. But if you're not bothered by little old me, why the fuck you talking, bitch? Why the fuck are you talking? I thought you said you don't watch, bitch. Oh, bitch, you watching and you're listening. You watching and you're listening. You see, I'm the bitch to give you a lesson, ho. Can't learn nothing from the rest of them there, can you? You know these old bags want to fuck you. Isn't that right? James Caldwell. In that right tale. Two sexual deviants. Rolled up into one. No longer having fun anymore together. Because. Somebody was getting a little bit more shine than the other. Right? Mm. Two little crybabies. Two little sissy punks. 
sitting on the playground wearing little old pink dresses with fufu shoes and socks on. Little pet leather shoes and ruffle socks. Mm. With their little old penises shoved up the crack of their behinds, taped down with mask and tape. Come on, that bitches. These two people are deviants. I see straight through you. Oh, yes, I did name him the Godfather. Most certainly did. Jealous, Sean Bradley. Jealous. Because, see, in some aspects, James Caldwell is better than you. And then there are in some aspects, Bradley, Sean Tatum, you're better than him. But the thing is, the both of you are snakes, trash, sex, sexual deviants. The things you all have done with children, or lack thereof children. Got one over here, a clown sitting in a corner, screaming and hollering, dressing up like a lady. Then I got your ass sitting over in your goddamn bathroom, naked, screaming and hollering. They showing you exactly who they are. Look at them. Look at them. And I want you all to look at them and look straight through them. They're the cesspool of this area of YouTube. This area of YouTube would have never turned out this way if it wasn't for them. They're cesspools. Trash. Garbage. Nobody wanted them. Two lonely bitches. James sitting over in that house uh, apartment all by himself, rolled up in a fetal position, crying at night. Wishing somebody loved his ugly, fat, round-headed ass. Looking like a damn penguin. And I normally love penguins. But not a humanized one that's a deviant. Talk too goddamn much for me. Talk too goddamn much for me. Bitch, I already get attention, ho. You, the same thing they want, the same thing I want, bitch. Is that why they lie too, ho? The same reason why everybody's on here, bitch, is for attention, bitch. Aren't you giving it to me, bitch? You're giving me everything I desire. Give me more, bitch. That's why you're here, ain't ho. Now you're blocked. Cry, baby. Your ass be crying in the morning and emailing me. Asking me to unblock you or your dumb pussy ass will be out here. Building another troll account. That's what your bitches do, right? I want you to come here as yourself. Don't come here as somebody else, bitch. I ain't got time to be building troll accounts, bitch. I come as myself. Quanty, bitch. And these two bitches I don't like. They made this area of YouTube this way. A cesspool. Two little girls, well, really little boys who want to be girls. And they're so angry and bitter that they couldn't be the girls. So they're scratching and scraping off of the backs of the real girls over here that they wish that they were. They're snatching from each of us. That's the reason why they attack us. They wish what they can't be. Two little boys. Who could never grow up and be girls or women. And then they're showing the worst parts of it. Two little whores. You got Tatum sitting in a tub of fleet, a whore, who goes out 
into the world of Planet Fitness and pick up trade. A whore. Then they got James Caldwell. Who dresses up and calls everyone ugly. Really? I mean, really. I want to know this, James Caldwell, because I was told you was on there screaming and hollering again. Why are all of your t shirts too little? What is this cutting a t shirt down the center? <laughs> What is this cutting these shirts down the center? Are we back in the 80s? Is your neck that big? That would mean that the shirts are too little. Go and purchase a larger size. You are a man. You have broad shoulders. Your back is large. That's craziness to me. You are born a male. You have broad shoulders and you have a large back. Your chest size is larger as well. Find shirts that fit. Stop cutting them damn shirts down the damn center. I'm so sick of seeing him do that. Every video... The damn shirt cut down the center. What the fuck is that about? Is he on flash dance? <laughs> breaking? Breaking two? Are you stuck in a time warp? But furthermore, why are all those shirts fitting you like a damn body glove? Child, please. This is going to be brief and short, child. I saw Tatum over there hooping and hollering naked, sitting on the toilet. Crying like a little bitch when you over there holding your son's scrotum and penis and teaching him how to cheat a doggone drug test and then talking about me. Talking about how much money I spent. You don't know how much money I spent. You don't know about my finances, Chad. Why you all about why you worry about my finances? I'm not on you too big. Now, don't get me wrong. They give. And I appreciate and I do take. And I hold on to it. Put, me, put it in a little escrow account for me. Child, please. Y'all too much. But don't get it twisted, honey. Skill it over there in your damn DMs, too. Skillet has spoken with all of us. Don't you all get it twisted. Skillet is behind the scenes with each and every one of us. Now some may still speak with her and some may not. Kwani talks to her. I don't have an issue with Skillet. I'm allowing Skillet to be Skillet. You know why? Because she's a grown ass woman. She not bothering me. Why should I bother her? If she needs my platform to talk on, I'm going to give her my platform to talk on. Now, she may be un misunderstood, and I get it. Because Skillet can do some crazy stuff on her. And she's doing it for her own purpose. Why she does it, that ain't my, that's not my ministry. Not my ministry. I told her to stop giving. I told I told her to stop giving folks money, cause she out here buying friendship. I told her exactly that. She's even cashed at me. Yes, she has. I told her to stop it, because you are worthy and deserving of having folks that like you. And I, I'm kind of getting the feeling of why she does what she does. But I won't tell you. My conversation will be with her. Because I still care about her. 
She hasn't done nothing to me. She hasn't done nothing to none of these people either. They loved her when she was paying them. And they knew they, they knew they were juicing her. They're not dumb. They're whores, but they're not dumb. A whore doesn't make you dumb. Yeah, because you like to give up your booty all the time. James Caldwell and Sean Bradley. Doesn't make you dumb. You all knew y'all was all here. You all know what y'all doing on here. You all built this area of YouTube. And the problem is you're mad at me because I'm telling the truth on your bitch ass. I've been sitting back, back watching. Oh, Quan, you come to Godfather. How about I call him that for a reason? He is the Godfather. The Godfather of madness. You thought I would say he was Godfather or something good? You don't know the meaning of Godfather, bitch? The Godfather on the movie was a crime boss. He was trash. You think I'm calling these names to these people because they great? Now they got some greatness in them somewhere, deep down inside somewhere, but they've been so pleasured by the bullshit. They get such a fixation off the bullshit and bullying people. But go cry in a fetal position when you fuck them over. Each and every one of us have cried about this bullshit. I've been weary about it. Leery about it. And called others up and said, did you see what they said? You know how I know? Because that's the reason why you go live, bitch. You go live to try to fight for your honor. When hoes, half of you all don't even have honor, don't even know how to spell it. Don't even know the definition of honor. When you never had honor in your life in the beginning. Before there was YouTube. Don't get mad at me because I said the bullshit. And I'm in the bullshit. I played a part in the bullshit. All the lies you all tell yourselves. I'm leaving this area of YouTube. I'm leaving. Bitch, please. You stuck here. The only way to leave is to shut it down. That's the only way to leave here. Is to close out your channel completely. That's the only way to leave this bullshit. Is to shut your channel down. They're not leaving this madness. It feels too good to them. They love it. They love going live cursing folks out. They love it. It gives them euphoria. It's like, it's, it's like an orgasm to them. It's like an orgasm to them. I can tell you that because I know what it makes me feel like. I'm right here in the bullshit with them. They just don't want to tell the truth. Because if they really didn't care that much, why the fuck would you be going live talking about me? If I'm not penetrating your spirit, bitch, why are you live? I saw another channel over there talking. Mm. Bothering you too, huh? When I, saw, I went over and looked at another page. Bothering her too. And she over there screaming out like a banshee. She would have been talking about one person and threw me in too. And her house ain't been clean in a month of Sundays. You line up in the bed naked. Her all over your damn head. You should be ashamed of yourself. As old as you are, you are half of a century. And you talk about somebody crazy. No, the crazy person is you. I ain't washed your ass. Land up in the bed filled with junk and gunk. And you on YouTube talking about others and doxing every goddamn body while live. Bitch, you need to be concerned about you going to jail. Because, honey, they are setting up a plan for your ass, too. You dummy. You sitting up on this damn YouTube doxing everybody, calling CPS and all that on folks. And you over here talking about me? Bitch, you better worry about your ass getting locked the fuck up this year. Because, bitch, folks are hatching a plan for your black ass, too. That's what you need to be concerned about. All that screaming and hollering. Girl, you're going to need more than screaming and hollering when it's time to get locked up. Get locked up in the clinker. 
some of y'all been set up for a great surprise this coming year. Fuck what you heard. Or fuck what you don't hear. There are people working together. Just die. You think them channels being flagged? You ain't seen nothing flagging yet to all of you getting locked up in a clinker. Mm hmm. All they admit that they did. Admit that what you all did. They're so tough and talking about this pull up game and all this action and action Jackson and screaming and hollering. I want you all to go live and tell us what you did to Susie. Shereen up there. How all of you all got together and start writing all these victim impact statements, sending them off to all of Virginia. How you all are calling and badgering the correction facility, calling and badgering the judge. You so tough. Go live and tell that. I ain't hearing nobody go live and say that they did. Well, I thought they were tough. Come on now. Go live and tell that Bradley. Go live and tell that. Go live and tell what you did. Come on, spin a boy. Don't be a boy about it. Be a man about it. Go live and tell all the stuff that y'all were doing. Tell us what Sean said to you behind the scenes. Go live and tell all that. Tell who all was involved in all this Shenanigans. Mm-hmm. Go live and tell that. How much y'all hated Susie. Tell about what y'all really wanted to do with Susie. Go live and tell that. Got all that mouth. You gonna sit on the toilet for that one too? All that mouth they got y'all. They ain't telling the truth, chair. Yeah. They wanted more for her. Do you hear me? Not for her, but for her. And whomever was going to come with her. All oh, this mouth, they so tough. But ain't nobody going to go live and talk about it. They're not going to go live and talk about it. All y'all emails and text messages and phone calls y'all was making. Mm-hmm. Nobody gonna tell you're not gonna tell. You're not gonna tell what you did or what you were trying to do. <laughs> Where's your pull-up game for that? I don't see nobody pulling up for that now, are they? Is any of them pulling up for that? Mm -mm. They're not gonna pull up for that. Everybody's silence on that part. Scared much? What you afraid of? So tough, right? Get all that mouth. Go live and tell that story. Go live and say who did all the things that they were doing. Go live, Sean Bradley. Want you the one calling um Jay. Huh? Wasn't that you having my family doxxed? Bradley, Sean. That was you, bitch. Over there with Chopper. Wasn't that you, Sean Bradley? Bitch, you think I don't know what the fuck you did? Bitch, I know everything. And I do mean goddamn everything. Now you keep fucking around and have your black ass locked the fuck up. Now, bitch, I said the fuck I want to say. Now, you keep playing. I have your ass sitting in the goddamn jail cell. Because, bitch, I know what the fuck you did. And what the fuck you were trying to do. Now, keep on playing around, you little fuck boy. I ain't none of Susie. I know what the fuck you did. Got everything fully recorded. Now fuck around if you want to, bitch. Bradley, Sean Tatum. 
They don't know my name. Your name is Bradley Sean Tatum. That is your name. Fuck with me and I'll be your game. Now, I don't take too kind to what the fuck you said today. While you sit your naked ass on that screen. Mm-hmm. Your naked, stinking ass. I know what the fuck you did. Got you in that bitch. Now, play around if you want to. And I'm over here giving something for a thousand dollars. All that bullshit you're talking you gonna be crying. Don't worry about my tears, bitch. You're going to be crying. I said the fuck I want to say. You think I don't know what the fuck you done done, Jeff? Folks didn't record it. She would have sent me all the recordings. <laughs> I told you, bitch. It made it my business. To be a part of, to be affiliated with the mode. Now you want it, bitch. You got it. All right, guys. Let me get my behind out of here. Cause somebody may want to be arrested and go off the, and get their ass locked in a the clinker. They may just. Let I don't know if they got. Do they got fleet in jail? I wouldn't know. I ain't never been there. And I don't take dookie shoots. So I don't know nothing about it. All right, guys. Good night. Ta-ta. Continue to utilize your sanitizers and also your gloves if you use them. But he wanted, it. He got it. I'll put that damn black bitch, that damn gorilla-looking monkey right in jail. Most certainly will you. Trying to spare your black ass. Keep on playing, bitch. I'll have your ass locked the fuck up.